What's up, Cybernics, and welcome back to a Newsflash episode. I think the last Newsflash was like in February this year, so I definitely wanted to keep you up to date with everything around Ionic. So we're gonna talk about latest content inside the Academy, my blog, uh, on the Ionic blog, uh, updates regarding Capacitor Ionic and in the end I also want to share a few updates on my own projects and a little change for this channel in the future. Also I want to say a big thank you for crossing 40k subscribers on YouTube. I'm really happy about that although I still target 100k to get this little award from YouTube. Uh, with the current growth it will still take like eight years. But anyway, I'm super happy to have like this huge amount. That's like half the amount of people living in the city where I came from. And I, I, that's really a lot. So thank you all for being part of the Simonix community. I really appreciate all your comments, your questions, your feedback below the videos or on Twitter. Thanks for growing this channel together. And I hope I can deliver some epic content in the next time and some cool new projects in the near future. But for today, let's dive into our Ionic news. All right, as always, let's start with the Ionic Academy. Uh, since June, there are two new courses. One big course on testing Ionic apps, both unit tests and end-to-end -end tests using Cypress. I really enjoyed that course and it gave me once again uh, a better idea of how to handle tests these days and it is actually a lot better than it was years ago. Second course is with my, well, maybe new favorite uh, backend as a service with Superbase. I really enjoy using Superbase. You've seen a few tutorials and videos on this. This is a full blown course on connecting Ionic with Superbase. And if you want to see more about Superbase, as always, just let me know inside the comments. On top of that, since we will be in August pretty soon, we will have a new uh, Ionic quiz game, which will be pretty funny. Uh, actually, there will be something like this inside the game with a confetti animation. So I really enjoyed creating something more outside of this kind of news to do productivity information kind of apps. And it's more a bit like a game. On top of that, there are new templates coming every month to the Ionic Academy if you haven't checked them out. Uh, for all Ionic Academy members, quite long list so far already and a new uh, super base template to directly get started and pretty soon uh, a big Gmail clone template will be there as well. In terms of new written material or also video material, uh, one on how to cache image files. This is also a bit like the second version of another uh, tutorial that we will see pretty soon. If you want to cache your results, uh, this is a great and actually quite easy way to improve your performance. Also, uh, since we're at Capacitor 3 now, I created a little guide for you to migrate to Capacitor 3. It comes with a few steps, but overall it is still quite easy to migrate and I definitely recommend it for everyone. Um, then we got a little quick win on this dynamic sticky segments up here. Uh, I used this effect in one of the Build with Ionic tutorials and I thought it would be really worth a little uh, quick win. So go check it out if you want an animation like that. And also coming uh, just this week, I guess the least popular post since uh, not a lot of people are using a SOAP API, but I recently had to and I just wanted to wrap this inside a quick win so people in the future can go back to this and hopefully have an easier time implementing it in their applications. Now, on my main blog, DevDectic, there's new content as well. Uh, this is the one on caching API responses, so you could combine this with caching image files and you would have an epic caching mechanism right in your Ionic application without any big packages. Uh, a little guide on getting started with Cypress, so uh, a light, very, very light version of the testing course in the Academy. Really, Cypress, pretty awesome. Check it out if you haven't done so far. Then we got the big Built with Ionic Gmail clone. This is the first part uh, with this floating header, which uh, leaves and a fab button that also does. No, it's not with a fab button. Uh, maybe it's not yet with a fab button. <laughs> Um, so that was what the second part was about. Uh, in the second part, I created maybe the best, really the best animation uh, I've ever done. Uh, I tried to replicate this and you can see this swipe to delete. It just works. 
It has haptic feedback. It comes with additional animations with the rounded borders and shadows once you touch something. Really, I'm still in love with that. And the good thing is you don't have to build a Gmail style application. You can really use this behavior easily in your own applications. Now let's move into Ionic official. Uh, I initially wanted to cover things from June and July, but let's quickly uh, talk about this as well. In May, Max um, uh, announced Ionic portals. It's kinda, uh, or it's perhaps not helpful for the regular Ionic developer working with web technology, but actually for the opposite direction, uh, meaning for native developers that kinda want to move into Ionic because they will have a lot easier time with Ionic portals um, to integrate Ionic stuff in their native applications. So this will definitely open up the market to new developers. Uh, really looking forward how this evolves over time. Then uh, I also released a little uh, guest post on the official Ionic blog. Yeah, that's me once again uh, about changing your app icon. That's actually pretty cool. Uh, I before didn't know that this was possible. Um, I never really used it in the iOS applications anyway, but it's a cool thing and it just comes with a few lines of code and integrating some icons. So if you wanna add something to your application, check it out on the Ionic blog. And then um, just letting you know once again that we're on Capacitor 3. This was announced in May. Uh, if you haven't upgraded so far, I definitely recommend it. Capacitor 3 is epic. Um, it has removed the core plugins to their separate packages. So you're gonna have to um, edit a bit of your application. Um, time depends on how many files you got and how many imports you got, but you can check out my quick win once again on this topic. And then of course, we recently saw the announcement of Ionic version six, or as they call it now, framework version six. We talked about the differences between Ionic and all the tools previously. Um, really looking forward to this. There are so many uh, great new components. I actually created a video on this. Uh, first look at Ionic 6, check it out if you haven't done so far. Uh, there's this breadcrumb component, then we got this accordion view. And they also got this calendar view, which I couldn't implement very well so far. And they also mentioned a um, uh, bottom draw. Yeah, that was it's called. Uh, and people are really looking forward to that. I haven't seen it so far, um, but the upgrade is really easy. I gave it a try. It is really easy. Um, don't fear this upgrade from version five to six. It's gonna be really, really fast and only a few small breaking changes. If you wanna follow along, just check it out uh, on GitHub of the Ionic team, Ionic Framework version 6.0 beta one. Uh, was recently released, perhaps already beta two. I don't know when the final release is, but I just think maybe one or two months, hopefully. Um, also, if you wanna see more about the things they are doing, you can always follow Ben uh, or other from the Ionic team. They are always posting some previews of the things they are working on. Um, so if you wanna get excited for version six, <laughs> check them out on Twitter. Um, on top of that, you might have participated in the Ionic conference. Uh, I wasn't part of the Ionic conference this year, uh, well, because I wasn't selected. Next year I will try better with my topic and of course I also was on vacation that week, so it actually was kinda good that it, it didn't happen. But uh, most, perhaps all videos, I don't know, by now are uploaded on the Ionic channel. So you can go ahead and rewatch them. I already started with Ellen's talk. I will definitely get into all the others as well. So if you missed the conference or just wanna rewatch them, go check it out on the Ionic uh, YouTube channel. That's what it's called. Now, uh, in terms of myself, uh, some quick uh, personal updates. I appeared <laughs> inside a, a podcast, actually. It's a German podcast of the Programmierbar. If you're from Germany or at least understand German, or if you just wanna hear me <laughs> inside a podcast without understanding what I'm talking about, uh, go check it out on the Programmierbar. And now I haven't really shown this perhaps in a few images. Uh, I wanna share that I'm working on something new. 
and that will be called build with ionic just as the several tutorials i created along this year all of these are screenshots are from tutorials and applications that i did before this is going to be an ebook uh, about building designs or interfaces with ionic like this uh the page is probably already launched at that point you can perhaps try and figure out the url based from this maybe um perhaps i've also announced it by then but i still have to do some optimizations um here are some examples the tutorials i created this year we had twitter spotify netflix gmail deliveroo and more to come and this book will cover uh maybe a few of them but of course additional new material extensive material about building epic interfaces with ionic you can already sign up maybe <laughs> Uh, and get on the pre-launch list so you get all the updates about that book. And that is also one of the reasons uh, I wanted to announce a little change to this channel. So I usually plan my content out in advance like this, uh, the, the, all the stuff I need to do for a month, and actually this takes quite a lot of time. Then I maybe do something for a company a day or two a week, and suddenly the whole month is gone with just this and nothing new. And I was just frustrated with that, since I really just had to stick to the schedule and uh, just perform and create this content. So I decided that I will drop the Thursday video, which comes out every two weeks um, for now, uh, and integrate that into the Tuesday slot. So that means there will only be uh, content on YouTube available on Tuesday every week. Um, I really hope this helps me to um, create a bit less work on new things. So I thought about the book, I thought about a cool YouTube playlist with Ionic 6, perhaps uh, getting into Ionic View at some point and just uh, upgrading my quality of the content. So a bit less quantity, a bit more quality. That's what I hope. I hope you understand this and I will still definitely deliver all the news and if there's something urgent, I might release something on Thursday, but for now I will stick to Tuesday and try to put more time into Build with Ionic. Alright, and that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed the quick update on everything regarding the content and Ionic that's currently going on. I usually don't cover React stuff. If you're interested in uh, all the updates about React as well, let me know in the comments and I will try to integrate them into the news flash as well. Besides that, you can find, of course, all the links below the video. And if you're not yet a member of the Ionic Academy, you should right now go check it out, ionicacademy.com, my place to help you with really everything Ionic. I will keep you updated about the progress with Built with Ionic. I have no date for this. I just started working on this previous site and I got some ideas for the structure of the book and tried to figure out which apps to integrate. But I will definitely uh, count on you to get your feedback in the near future. On top of that, go check out Ionic 6 if you haven't done so far. It's really epic. Um, I think we will see the release pretty soon and the migration will be quite easy. So you should definitely get that and that accordion component and the breadcrumb and perhaps the bottom drawer. That's just awesome. <laughs> Enjoy your week. I hope you are now up to date with everything Ionic and I will catch you inside the next videos. So have a great week and happy coding, Simon.